All right, we're back to integrate the next thing, and that is going to be getting paid. So let's integrate Stripe and PayPal. We are in the settings again. Last time we did email services, this time we're going right above to integrations. This video is sponsored by me. Schedule a funnel mapping strategy session, and together we'll go through your business, your goals, your plans, and you will come away with a custom diagram of your ideal funnel. You'll also have the option to have me build it for you in just one week with a funnel by Friday. So click the link in the description to schedule your session. While you're in here, this is very easy to do. Just sign into the Google account that you have your um, calendar in. So I don't know if that needs to be a whole separate video, but basically just sign into your Google there. But down here with Stripe, we're going to click continue. And I have already set mine up, but basically here it's going to be asking you for API keys and Stripe is, PayPal is a little bit more confusing, but Stripe is pretty simple. You, um, Stripe is a separate thing that you sign up for and um, I believe it's free for most things. Like they take a cut out of the payments that they process like standardly for a payment processor. Um, but this is how you take payments for a lot of different things around the internet. It integrates behind the scenes with a lot of stuff. So basically you're going over here to developers and API keys. And then you're going to be able to create a key and you'll get a publishable key and a secret key and you just put them in where it says publishable and secret key in here. And then no reason not to, I don't think, enable Google Pay and Apple Pay. Now for PayPal, you need to have a PayPal business account. You don't have to set up PayPal as a payment option. Stripe will take standard credit cards from people, but having PayPal as an option does increase conversions. And I know that from the perspective of a customer because I often don't feel like going and hunting for my wallet to pull out my credit card. So if I'm about to buy something on impulse and they don't have PayPal, I'm likely to just forget it and not do it and never come back. So that is why having PayPal increases conversions because people can buy things quickly and not, uh, not get, uh, not have time to think about it. That sounded bad, but you know what I mean? impulse shopping. <laughs> so they have this here and um, so you can watch this video that shows how to integrate the PayPal part. So Lead Connector appears to be a company that is connected to ClickSlow in some way because a lot of their ClickSlow stuff has the name Lead Connector on it. So I'm not quite sure what that's about, but so this part uh, is the part that I found a little bit confusing was this sandbox part. I haven't seen that before, but you'll see there's a separate place for live and sandbox. And this video is going to walk you through it. But if there's anything here that is not working for you when you put it through, let me know and, uh, and we'll get you some help. Um, but yeah, that's pretty important to get those things connected up. So again, this is under settings, integrations. For PayPal, follow the instructions on this link. For Stripe, go to Stripe Developers API and put in your API uh, key, publishable key, and secret key. 